So anytime you have a permissive culture, the women, of course, are going to be more likely to be promiscuous or sexually liberated or sexually open, as they call it. So that's number one. Secondly, with regards to like principles, values and morals, women are never like the leaders in this category. In fact, when you leave women to their own devices, they generally degrade into like very filthy behaviors. Like, for example, women are walking contradictions. They say, like, don't sexualize me. But every effort they make is to sexualize themselves and to make themselves objects. And like, for example, Shorty over here is like, oh, why are you looking? Because you've ripped holes in your nipples and put jewelry in it, and then you wear a super tight shirt. If you give them an option or you do not stop them, they're going to they're gonna go off the deep end. I have a question. So recently there's been a video of a girl saying, Hawk Tua, spit on that thing. <laughs> That's crazy. They're going viral, right? Hawk Tua. But my thing is, like, she said she wouldn't do OnlyFans. What do you think about that? Smart or not smart? Good or bad? I mean, good for her for not doing OnlyFans because she made twenty thousand dollars going to Dare the other day. Because I know about that. So yeah, they they. But at the end of the day, she still looks like a hoe. You know, like I like I can look nice here, but once you guys pull up my Instagram, it's like okay, that's Uh a completely different person. You be outside. I know. Yeah, I am outside every day. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's she's still stupid. I was actually with her at Dare the other day. What is Dare? It's, it's a, a club. club. It's a hard it's a, rock. Okay. It's like a pool party club. Oh. Pretty cool. Oh, I'm over okay. here thinking the drug awareness thing. Oh, yeah, right. oh, yeah. 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 20K to not talk about smoking yeah. weed? Yeah. To yeah. talk about not smoking weed? By the way, okay. Okay. they man. threw her a party that was so much love. Like, I can't. Yeah. They, she was crying. Like, they showed her mad love. I'm like, yo, she's a president. God damn. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sucking dick? No, I, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think oh. she is going to get a lot of money for that with different appearances, all different opportunities, but I think she's missing a huge bag if she doesn't do OnlyFans. But at the same time, mm-hmm. if that's the boundary she wants to set, then, you know, I'm not going to, I have no, no comment. That's her choice. Okay. So good for her. What do you think? I feel like she just got lucky with that meme. Like she was drunk and she literally just oh, she didn't jealous? even know what she was doing She's and jealous. she did it. I do it. Not at all. I'm not jealous of that. Like, you are her. I mean, man. but I don't think it's gonna last long. I think it's gonna it's gonna fade out. Nah, she's so jealous right now. She's like, oh, she's giving thoughts. Gonna say now on OnlyFans. Mm. I honestly don't know. Like, I mean, if you feel that. comfortable, you know, enough, then yeah, <laughs> and she can make a lot of money. I know that for sure, but. You know, there's a lot more things to do other than OnlyFans. Do you regret your choice? For no, I do not. Okay. Touche. What about you? <laughs> I just think it's like a personal preference. Like if she wants to, cool. If she doesn't, cool. You know, like I don't, I don't know her life. I don't know like what she wants to do and what she doesn't want to do. So like if she doesn't want to do it, then I wouldn't judge her for like the reasons why she wouldn't want to, you know? So imagine the world's watching you and you have a membership site. They would join instantly to see what you're doing. Wouldn't you say that's a good move business-wise? Um, business-wise, yeah, but maybe she just isn't into the OnlyFans thing. But <laughs> when you consider, what does it say about us? Yeah. Like our society, society as a whole. It, it points out that the society is profoundly sick and also brainless. Yeah. That someone can become famous over saying something that's stupid and something that 20 years ago would be extremely embarrassing to you as an individual and your family. And someone who's completely devoid of talent is able to get a spotlight and be well compensated for it. And the young lady says it it won't last. I wish that were true, but in this young lady's case, she has something going for her, which is she has that. That there's a certain look that yes. has mileage. Mm-hmm. She's a blonde, white, white girl, girl <laughs> denim jean shorts, yeah. cowboy hat, and there's a lot of mileage. And what it really represents is the decline of us as men that A, we would allow that, and B, we would praise that. Like, that club should be empty. Like, wait, what? The bit talking about Hawk 2 isn't? Like, man, I ain't going to the club to see this bit. <laughs> you know what's funny, Saint? Zach Bryan brought her on stage in mm-hmm. front of like 20K people. Plus, that's a country singer. A 40K plus, right? It's a country singer. That Mm -hmm. right there just showed me, bro, this shit's going far because that right there was a boost that was incredible. And Shaq, Mm -hmm. too. And and granted, she wants to start a documentary and Ah. do a podcast. A documentary on what? I think she's going to do a reality TV show. She got a million followers in like two days of starting an Instagram. Mm. Yeah, she might be here for a while, guys. Yeah. What about you? What's the question? (laughs) 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 Has a chance to make OnlyFans. Good idea or bad idea? I mean, I, I kind of agree with her. It's like whatever you want. Like you said, she already got a million followers on Instagram, so she doesn't probably have to do OnlyFans to make money. And I honestly haven't seen the meme. Are you thick? Am I thick? Yes. 
Can you, do you stand think up and do a twirl? No, yeah, do you have some? Yeah, could you stand yeah, up real yeah, quick? And do a <laughs> just turn around a little bit. Okay, slim right, team. Right. Sure. Okay. I, I will listen, love. Let me tell you this. <laughs> Being that you are not thick, I'm gonna need you to pay attention more. <laughs> you know, you, you cannot be in a situation I'm like, what are we talking about? You need to focus. Seriously, your mileage is very low. I have a line that I always say on the show. What's that? But I need to see some more evidence. I just say it all the time. <laughs> she got no ass. She got no ass. But we'll see you later. I work out, so it's a muscle booty. I'm a professional bodybuilder, you know? Which federation do you have your uh, pro card with? IFBB. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's not I lying. I actually work out. She's not lying. They already did. <laughs> she's, she's not lying. Okay. Yeah. Yo, chat. What's that's, your take on that's it? Martin, that's Martin's type, though. I got to say, man, I, I'm surprised it got this far. And honestly speaking, that just speaks to our society on a whole. But Sam has a point here. This current society is praising people being, you know, for the other team. Well, look at Sketch, too. Sketch. They're praising yeah. people being oh my God. degenerates. And this right here just goes to show that, like, it doesn't matter who you are. If it's a certain type, like a white girl that's saying, like, talk to her, you can go really far off of that alone. Right. So it's just falling to the society itself. And honestly speaking, bro, she might go far because, dude, they're she encouraging her. Did. And she did. Dude, 20K to go to there? That's yeah. what celebrities do. Like, yeah. 50 Cent, all the people. I'm yeah. like, Wow. And I know it was 20, though. Like, I was with the producers there. Wow. So. Yeah, I, I will say this, though. I don't think she's going to last like that because, and I know what you said, that, like, her, she does have a good image. She has aesthetic, country accent, yeah. blonde hair, et cetera. That yeah. is going to have mileage in the United States because that is the, probably American one of the more, yeah. more sought-after uh, females in America, right? You leave Miami's little bubble, you realize, like, oh, men prefer white girls that are blonde that, you know, have a certain frame. So, yeah, I agree. That That is a good point that you made. I just think that it won't last because it's common. She got three months mm -hmm. to really do something where she can like distinguish herself from like all the other Beckys out there. And she has three months to do it. I agree with Santa actually. She is leaving a lot of money on the table with OnlyFans because she came in off of sexuality. Yeah. So she doesn't want to do OnlyFans. She's going to have to go over what I call the uphill battle of being taken seriously as a creator, as a female that came in through sexualization. So she's going to have to prove to everyone I'm not an idiot. I'm not just a bimbo. And I'm not just spitting on penises. And she's got an uphill battle to do that. So it's going to be tough. And if she fails, she could go to the OnlyFans thing, which I think might be her last ditch strategy. Let me cash out on OnlyFans because I don't have the ability to hold the long form contact. She said she's going to do a podcast or something. I'm like, sweetheart, yeah. doing a podcast is not easy. Not to sound like a sexist asshole, but most female led podcasts fail. Women don't deal with the hero's arc. And what I mean by this, they don't go through the hero's journey. This is why if you look at Marvel movies, right, that are like female centric or they try to go ahead and change the Marvel character to a female. It does bad. Why? Because the feminine experience is not indicative of the masculine journey where you're going in and you're training and, you know, Rocky, get sacrifice, your ass whooped, struggle. sacrifice, train, punch in a carcass in a fucking Philly free shop somewhere in the 1970s. Like, a lot of the time, women don't, like, they don't go through that. So with that said, podcasts a lot of the times are not interesting when it's female run just being honest with you i can't even think the only female-led podcast i could think of that's call even charted is call, call her daddy but what do they do they just talk about sex the whole time they broke right. up by the way shout out two girls one blunt that shit trash bro <laughs> <laughs> that shit is trash list. man uh, i 